My son is a prince through the union of Gisi and Lafogidi ruling house, which makes him a double crown prince. They said Ashley insisted. According to her, they said she stated that whoever that is not happy with this statement should take her to uh, Odua Council of Chiefs, that she is ready to come there to defend herself. You know that a few days ago we heard that uh, the Gisi ruling house was very, very angry over the fact that Ashley keeps referring to her son as the crown prince, even when she knew very well that her son is the third son to Kabiesi. You do you know that the gods are very wise? Yes, but before we go, we, we go to that, uh, they said the Gusi ruling house uh, summoned Lafogidi ruling house where Ashley was coming from uh, and told them to caution their, their daughter, which is Ashley, that this issue of calling her son the crown prince is causing a lot of problem and it is not accepted. So they should reach out to their daughter Ashley and warn her to stop calling her son the crown prince because her son is not the crown prince. So when they deliver this message to her, uh, but it is obvious that she was doing this thing deliberately. Mm -hmm. So my people, what we are hearing right now, right now is that when her uncles deliver this message to her, telling her that the Gisirilin house said that they are not happy over the fact that she is referring to her newborn baby as the crown prince, we are asking her have other boys. They said... Her reply was that her son is a prince, which comes through the union of Gisi ruling house and Lafogidi ruling house, which make him a double prince and as such a crown prince, that whoever that has any problem with that should deal with it, or better still, summon her before the Odua Council of Chiefs that she is ready to come and defend herself. Hmm. You know, this simply means that she is telling the Gisi ruling house that, look, there is nothing you people can do about this situation, that she chooses what to call her son, and no one can stop her. Yes, so everybody chooses what they can call their children. But you see that one that when you do it, it will cause problems. You are not just you are not just causing problem for the people. You are also causing problem for that child, because the spirit of hatred will be on that child. I'm telling you, if you want to do your drama, don't involve your children. Don't involve your children. Do you know why Kwenami is very smart and wise? The moment he realizes that this thing is getting out of hand, uh, and it is now involving the children, which also includes Tadenikawo. She decided that she's no longer going to be involved in this drama because she knows that Tade Nikawo cannot fight for himself. And the more they are in fighting, the more, more, more hatred is being developed upon, uh, 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 against these children. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. And like I said, she is deliberately doing it, uh, trying to see if she will use this to separate Kabiesi and Queen Naomi completely. But like I said, the girls are wise. The girls are very much wise because if you remember, Ashley had been in the life of Kabiesi before Queen Naomi. And all the while that she, she was with Kabiesi, Kabiesi, she had been going to Kabiesi's bed. They have been doing Krewa together. Yes, she had been servicing Kabiesi's bed for a very long time. And I believe so much that during this period that this thing is happening, had it been she find out that she's pregnant, Kabiesi would have rushed and married her as a wife without wasting time, you know? And when Kabiesi finally married Queen Naomi, Ashley was still there, warming Kabiesi's bed, doing Kriwa with Kabiesi, even when Kabiesi did not marry her. Queen Naomi, uh, Kabiesi left her in the palace, went and married Queen Naomi. She was still there, even though she's not happy. There is nothing she can do about it. She was just busy doing her jazz, doing her juju here and there, 
trying to try her luck. Then we heard then that Benami accepted her as a sister. And that was why she had the opportunity to do what she did to Queen Naomi. Yes, because maybe she, she was busy giving Queen Naomi something that would make Queen Naomi have more hatred on Kabiesi. That makes her to leave the palace at a little provocation. It's possible. Why she was busy knocking Kabiesi? Do you think if she had become pregnant then, ha? Ah, this crown prince that is hungry, her, she would have gotten it. But like I said, the gods are wise. Despite everything that she did, or they did, to stop Quenami from conceiving, yet the gods decided to bless Quenami with a son, which is the true crown prince. Yes. And the one thing about this crown prince, no crown prince, crown prince, no crown prince, nobody knows tomorrow. Maybe the possibility that tomorrow, the one that they have not given birth to, will be the, uh, the king of this land is there. Because Kabiasi himself is not the first son of his father. Mm -hmm. He is not the crown prince of his father. Let me just put it that way. It's only God who knows who will be a king. That your mother uh, is from a ruling, Lafogidi ruling house and your father is from Gisi ruling house might not make you a king. It's only God who blesses a man. Have you not seen in a situation, and their own case self, they don't even need to be dragging the crown prince, who is, drag, who is crown prince and who is not crown prince. Because you don't know tomorrow. You might try everything within your power to raise your child to that standard of becoming a king tomorrow. But if the gods did not choose him, he will not smell that throne. <laughs> yes. If he will not smell the throne, the only thing he will gain if is if he is a good person, maybe finally either his brother or a relative uh, becomes the king, he will be answering our we are the king, but we all know the main king. Like in Kabiesi's family now, they will be uh, referring to his other brothers as the rulers, and they are the king, they are the king's family. But Kabiesi and Nitanogunsi is the main king. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So this crown prince or no crown prince. Anyways, when I heard that Ashley is an adopted daughter into the Lafogidi ruling house, I said, no wonder. Because there is this saying in my language that said, if she doesn't know that she will ever be royalty in her life and they adopted her into royalty, that thing is entering her head. That is what the proverb means. So I'm sure that is what is entering her head. She shouldn't take it to her children, no. But why won't her? Why won't she? That is who she is. She cannot change herself. That pride and the ego, she will inculcate it into the, into the children. But it's only time will tell, like I said. It's only God who makes a man a king. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, that is what we are hearing. They say she's never going to stop calling her son the crown prince. That whoever that is not, con uh, is not happy about it should deal with it. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.